Hi, I'm Mitch Mitchell. I got a haircut, but I need a shave. I'll get to that at some point, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Anyhow, today I'm going to add to a video I did a couple of weeks ago talking about pop-ups because I just need to. At the same time that I did the video, I did an article about pop-ups and talked about why I hate them so much. Mainly because a lot of the sites you visit have these things pop up as soon as you get there and you can't read anything. Now, on my blog, I basically had one guy who came in questioning how come I hated pop-ups so much. And I'm thinking, wait, I pretty much told you why I hated it, but he made an assumption based on something I said, but it was an assumption because I didn't say it. <laughs> I just didn't say it in the blog post. I did say it in the video, but he didn't watch the video, so... I'll, he couldn't have got it from there. And it was still a speculative thing that I mentioned just off the cuff that I wouldn't do necessarily to put it out to everyone else. I may do it for myself because I keep any kind of records. Anyhow, one of the things he said was no one has ever complained to me about the pop-ups. And my thought was, of course they haven't complained because most of the people who don't like it get there, see a pop-up, and leave. Now, his pop-up didn't show up until you got close to the end, so it was, you know, okay. That's not a big deal. And if someone had wrinkled, they would have seen that basically my gripe is having these things mess with you as soon as you get there. And, you know, not being able to read anything. And it's really a mess when you're on mobile. When you go to a site and these things pop up and you can't delete them. There's just nothing you can do with them. And that's really irksome. So, my friend Brian... Uh, decided he was going to write a tongue-in-cheek rebuttal against me. And that was interesting, and it was fun, and he was trying to say people need to lighten up about pop-ups and whatever. But later on, he thought about it, and he actually acquiesced both in a comment on my blog and in comments on his own because he understood my point once again, which are those intrusive things that just get in the way. Yet, most of the people who commented on his blog decided to promote these things and basically say, hey, we're trying to make money. We're trying to do business. Pop-ups are part of our business. People sign up for these things, and we should have the right to use them, which is fine. Uh, one guy in particular who a lot of folks like, you know, he's okay. I don't have a big problem with him, but he pretty much has said, I'm not in business for charity. I'm not doing this for charity. This is all for business. If you don't care about my content, then that's your problem. To which my response is, well, you got a point there if we don't care about your content. But the other side of that is if people don't get a chance to read your content and you're just blasting them with something before they see it, then how do they know they want to work with you? Of course, you know, as he's also stated, you know, at other times that if you think that you can do stuff on your own, then you're not his type of client anyway. So, you know, I mean, that's real true business. But you know, I'm going to roll this over from just talking about pop-ups to talking about social media and marketing and social media marketing and whatever in general. You know, I am not against anyone trying to make money online. I'm trying to do it indirectly. I mean, I'm trying to put this out there to show what my competency is. That's why I have a business channel because I'm trying to show my competency. So people may hire me to consult with them or to do work for them or to come speak to them and pay me, because I want to be paid. <laughs> but, you know, it's also supposed to be about engagement. It's supposed to be about talking to people. And what I notice is there's a lot of people putting stuff out. Me, 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 my product, my product, my product. But they're not really engaging anybody unless that person is a potential business client or customer for them. They don't care about anyone else. And, you know, I'm sorry, but I just I don't agree with that thought. I put out these videos for the most part because I'm trying to, you know, engage people in conversation. I don't monetize most of my videos. If it gets to a certain number, then I'll usually monetize them. But I don't usually just start off monetizing. And I've been told by a lot of people I should monetize every single post I put out there or every single one of these I put out there. I just don't do that. I don't capture email addresses on any of my blogs. I probably should. I may do that. But having pop-ups... I'm not going to ever do that. Now, I may have the, you know, the uh, email capture thing in the side to do it. I mean, I still uh, capture it for feeds because I use FeedBurner. So if you decide to subscribe to the blog, you put it there. I can go see it, but I don't consider that a mailing list. That's, you know, 
anyone giving me permission to start sending them all kind of stuff. I may do that, but it's going to be on a sidebar. It's not going to be intrusive. It's not going to pop up anything. And, you know, I see this on Google Plus, and I see it now on LinkedIn, and you never used to see that on LinkedIn. And you see it on Facebook, but most of the time you see it in a Facebook page or group, and that's okay. I mean, you know, it's not in the general course of everything. But whatever happened to this idea of engagement? You know, just because you want to make money, does that mean that, that you don't get to show any personality whatsoever? I'm sorry, but I don't trust people who don't want <laughs> to give me some kind of idea of their personality. Now, maybe they're jerks, and they know it, and they don't want to show any personality. That's on them. But, you know, for me... I like to talk to people. I mean, I'd love to talk to more people on, on YouTube. And on a couple of my videos, I've talked to a lot of people. I'd like to talk to people on Twitter. I talk to people all the time on Twitter. Facebook, eh, you know what? Facebook is mainly for people that I know or get to know. I don't just have a lot of conversations there. I write people, and I've been written to by people on LinkedIn, and that's kind of cool. Google Plus, in its own way, is kind of like Facebook. But still, there are these possibilities for engagement you know that's why they call it social media the idea is to be social now maybe I'm wrong about all of this you know maybe that's why I'm not a millionaire yet because I have this vision of trying to be social as well as trying to be uh, you know make money online or be this entertainer so to speak or this consultant or whatever you want to call me today because I don't really know but you know let's talk about it this is engagement after all. Let's see what y'all think. Anyhow, I'm Mitch Mitchell. Y'all have a great day. Let me know what you think. Oh, and subscribe. And leave a comment. <laughs> I'm supposed to tell people to like and subscribe, and I never do. So like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.